Ah! What's up, B? Nothing. What's up with you, punk? Huh? You scared? Hey, man, cool. Everything's cool, bro. Everything's cool. Ooh! Yeah, you better be scared, punk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You should be. Float like a butterfly, sting like a what? What's up, everybody? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create um, eyes that follow an object. I was trying to create an animation um, with a bee, and I wanted my character to be constantly looking at the bee, but I didn't know how to actually make it follow without having to do a lot of keyframing animations, especially since uh, it was moving around a lot. So I came up with this um, really, really simple uh, way of doing this. Um, it might have been done before. I haven't seen it anywhere else, but uh, this is how I did it anyway. And it's really simple. I'm going to start by showing you guys and constructing an eye or a pair of eyes. I'm going to turn the grid on real quick and select the circle um, tool. Let's do, oops. And holding shift and option down, I'm going to start from the center. And this works better with a perfectly round eye. It doesn't have to be, but um, I, my characters just look like that automatically. So go ahead and draw a circle here and draw a pupil. I'll hit Q, change the color there. So I have my just basic eye, cartoon eye. I'll hit Command A, copy and paste. Command V, or Command C to copy, Command V to paste. I'll grab both of those and kind of center them a little bit. So here I have just a pair of eyes, nothing really fancy. Um, and then I have, let's do another layer and I'll just call this ball. Name the first layer eyes. Just to keep everything organized. And I'm going to put them both into a bone layer. I'm just going to call it I follow. And what I'm going to do is actually on the eyes, I'm actually going to select the pupils. I hit T, hold shift down and move these. And I'm going to move them over to the edge, not all the way to the edge, but just to about right there. So this really works well for characters that are in a three fourth position or, you know, something like Family Guy or. Um, you know, most cartoons, the eyes don't ever directly look to the uh, very center unless they're looking at the camera. Um, in my tutorials they do, that's because I'm addressing you guys, but if they're talking to somebody else in the cartoon, they're usually looking off to the side. So we're gonna move the pupils to the side. I'm gonna turn on, or go to the bone layer. I'm gonna turn on the grid again real quick. And I'm going to hit add bones, which is A or you can click this right here. And right from the center, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a bone going over to the pupil. And then I'll hit B, deselect, A, add a new bone, and then draw another uh, bone for the uh, second eye. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the strength down on these because I'm actually gonna point bind them. So I'll hit B, I have this bone selected. Wait. Hit B to select the bone, G to select the points, and I'll select the points of that pupil and bind. Do the same for the other eye. Hit B, select the bone, G, select the pupil and bind points. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the ball layer, and I'm just going to draw a ball. I'll go ahead and select the bone layer. I'm gonna add a new bone, hit B. I don't want it be parented to anything. And I'll hit B and I'll just draw a bone there. Turn the uh, strength down and I'm gonna point bind it. So I'll deselect so you can see, hit B, hit G and select the ball. So the points and the bone are selected and bind those. So if I go into the timeline, oops, and grab the bone, should move the ball. 
Let me hit Command G to take the grid off. So now all we have to do, if you've probably already guessed, is let's hit. I'm gonna name these bones so you can see. So we'll just call this I1 and call this bone I2. Just renaming them. And then we'll just call this bone ball. So we'll hit B and select the first bone and go under bone constraints. And then under target, we're just gonna say uh, target the ball. And we'll select the second bone or eye bone and do the same thing, target ball. And at, now you can see that the eyes are actually looking directly at the ball in the timeline. And if we go anywhere in the timeline, if I hit T and move the uh, ball around, the eyes are just gonna follow uh, the ball, which is really, really nice because again, you don't have to do a whole lot of keyframing. I can go anywhere in here, fast or slow, and the it's always gonna look like the character is looking at this object, no matter where I put it. And again, this is really good for characters because typically they don't look directly at the um, the camera so they're never going to be dead center anyway so within just a few seconds I can have this character looking everywhere so that's what the purpose of the intro video was was to have my character looking at the B and we'll go into the actual uh, work file and let me scoot back here to the beginning so you guys can see so this was extremely easy to do and as you can see at the beginning I don't have my um, eyes looking at the bee and I you can target them anywhere in the timeline so right now they work as normal and I can animate them normally as soon as he enters the uh, the animation though I actually had to put the bee inside the way that I build my characters he's inside the uh, face rig because it's a bone layer already. So one of the problems I had was when I move my character, the uh, B moves as well, but that's easily uh, fixed by just, you know, keyframing a few positions. So the B is under the face. If you notice the, the face layer, because that's where my eyes are. But then I have another bone layer with the B. So if I come in here, whoops. Let's go somewhere where he's looking at it. So right here, you can see my character is set up the same way as what I just showed you in that really simple rig. And when I grab the bee, I have the whole bee parented, even though he's got you know a mouth and eyes and all this other stuff. And I can come in here and animate him too. You know, he's got a mouth to talk and all this kind of stuff and his eyes are rigged and everything but I have him the whole layer rigged to um, this bone. So if I come in here and under the face layer, if I grab this, oops, <laughs> just that bone, you can see the character will always be looking at the bee. So I don't have to readjust my eyes at any point in this scene. Once the bee enters, I can just move it and that's all I did. That's all all of these uh, paths right here are just me animating just the bee. And the uh, character just looks at him <laughs> without having to do anything. So it's really, really simple um, and, and really easy to do. Uh, and that's it. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for in new videos, uh, just let me know. Thanks for watching.